Hey everyone, it's Tammy at Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today is bath bomb day. I am making bath bombs mostly for a friend of mine. She placed a really large order of bath bombs for her kids and I have some of them right here. Let me show you. Um, I just packed them big for her. These are like, they have grow pills inside the little spongy grow pills. Her kids really like those. So I made those and then I also made these little, uh, the bigger bath bombs, and they have like little dino, dinosaur toys in there. So it's a really large order, and I just, as a thank you, I wanted to throw in a few extra bath bombs for her kids. And what I'm going to do is do a white base and then put some color in, um, in around it so that the color shoots out kind of as a surprise. Uh, and I've done that once before, and I don't think I put my little embeds in the right way. It took a long time for the color to come through, so I think I buried them too far deep. I need to get them more on the edge of the bath bomb mold. Today's fragrance is Cherry Mist. I have this little uh, Rustic Essential uh, sample I got, so there was just enough to do about half the fragrance load of the Cherry Mist. So I added some Nature's Garden uh, almond. So it's going to be like a cherry almond. This is a really strong, lovely fragrance. I love the cherry mist. I, I, I may have to get a bigger bottle. And then the almond is, I love cherry and almond. It's, it's great. So I think it's going to be a good all around fragrance. Um, hard to go wrong with cherry almond. And then I'm going to be using a Kata mold. Kata molds are an Etsy shop. They have all kinds of molds. I think it's 3D printed. I, I don't know. It's a six ounce mold, so it's fairly large for a bath bomb. And then I'm also gonna use an Arbor Press. I'm not very strong, so the Arbor Press really does save my uh, neck and shoulders from doing, when I do a lot of bath bombs, it, it takes a lot of that pressure off of my neck and shoulders and my hands, so I have no strength. <laughs> so I need all the help I can get. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to like get my hair net on and gloves and I, I've got all my ingredients kind of ready to go and, and I wanted, again, I wanted to show the Arbor Press in case uh, other people were looking to, um, for that because there weren't a lot of videos on YouTube when I was researching it before I got mine. So hopefully this will help anybody that's looking to, to, uh, have a bath bomb press without paying the electric or, or air presses, which can run hundreds and hundreds up to a thousand dollars. They're so expensive. So this one works great for me and it serves my purpose. So I'm going to get ready and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, I'm back. I don't know if this angle is going to be very good, but I'm still waiting for my room. I'm going to change my room around so I can do videos a little bit nicer for you. This is like my little bath bomb station. So I'm gonna get my oils in here. Let me get a spatula. So in here I have baking soda, uh, cornstarch, kale and clay, and cream of tartar. And I'm adding almond oil, um, polysorbate 80 to emulsify the, the colors I'm gonna add and the oils, and my fragrance oils. So I'm just going to get this mixed up really well. Okay, I just took a little break to adjust the camera. This is the boring part. I'm just getting all of the bath bomb mixture mixed in. Getting that fragrance oil and the polysorbate really, really mixed well before I add my citric acid. I wanted to also touch on, um, I, I uh, bought, you know, I, I don't know what it would be considered, like an online um, course. It's called Pro Bath Bombs. And I really have learned a lot about bath bombs since joining that group and buying, buying her lessons. I'm going to try to link that in the description box below. I really, I really do. It's a pretty small group still. I think she's fairly new at getting it up the ground. Um, but she's very sweet. Um, Mandy Burley, I think is her name. I, I don't have it in front of me, but, uh, she's very sweet and very helpful. And, and her Facebook group is, is great 
as far as, you know, immediate responses. And uh, I really think that my bath bombs have improved a lot since just starting her, um, her course and, and being involved with that. I'm going to link the, her, her course down in the description box as well. Because I think it's worth, I'm going to add my citric acid now. With COVID this year, um, I, I knew I was not going to make a profit. And so what I've just decided is this year, I'm going to work on educating myself with different things that I may need help with. And I'm not going to shy away from spending money on making my business better. And, um, so yeah, I, I purchased that. I purchased a couple other courses and, um, you know, things like that, that through, through the month or the year, I mean, that I think has done me well. All right. I think that's feeling pretty good. I almost don't need any binder. It feels... But I, I think I am going to add just a little bit of water. Look at this humongous. It, it says water only. It's, it's great. It's huge. I need a, I can't, you know, spray bottles. I can't find a spray bottle that's not big right now. Okay. You know, every time you go to the store and try to look for something, you can't find it. It may look like I'm spraying a ton, but there's very little coming out of that nozzle. So don't feel like I'm getting this too wet there. That feels much better. Okay. I'm gonna turn on my scale. And I asked my friend her kids' favorite colors and uh, pink and pink was one, so I'm going to do a couple pink ones and then a couple blue and green, and then I um, I have some tie dye looking ones. I'm going to do those as well. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the scale and tear that. Let's see if I can figure this out. I'm going to put a hole in there. So, and the idea too is this should make it spin because I'm I'm doing them like clustered on one side. I'm gonna put three. Oop, that's tore apart. Um, so, oops. Um, hopefully it'll spin, and I'm gonna have to make this a little bit bigger. I think six forty. Okay, here's the Arbor Press. Let me get rid of this. Make some room here. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of heavy. I like to mound my Kata molds up. I don't know if you can see. I kind of like to mound my bath bomb up just a little bit with my Kata mold. I put the lid on. I just press and I am not pressing hard and I like to move the press all around the surface because goodness guys hang on I don't want there to be a pressure point in the mold um uh oh that didn't work at all what happened let me try that again I can't really, that's really packed in there. I wonder, let me get a bowl here. It didn't stick together at all. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't gonna be any pink. It's very packed in here. So I'm gonna un, kind of loosen some of this bath bomb dust up here.
had that happen before and all the times I've used the potato mold, never had that happen. There. Whew. That was weird. I put, I have these like little ornament mold, bath bomb molds I got from Amazon. And perfect. So there you go. And I'm gonna put this pink bag on my tray so I know which one's which. And I think I'll make two, two of each color. Try that again. So you can see it comes in three pieces. So this particular mold, you just stick it on there. I always weigh everything. Fill, fill the little bit up. I'm gonna go ahead and poke a hole. I find with the um, with the uh, Kata molds because they're packed in there so tight. I really I need that. I need to poke a hole in there to keep them from sinking. on my labels and I'll make sure that when I when I measure my bath bomb mix in here I go up to um, about 6.25 6.2 um, 6.25 because some of that water may evaporate some of the bath bomb mixture sticks to the side um, so I just don't want to have anybody not get a full six ounces squeeze that together with my herbal press. Not very hard. I take the, the sleeve off. Tap it with the spoon just to break the seal. I am just the messiest bath bomb maker in the world. There's no two, two ways about it. The lid on. You can't, you're not even in camera over there. And you, this is plastic, so I'm you do have to be careful that you don't that you don't go too hard with that. I have heard a crack before, and that's that's kind of like oh, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. There. So I have two pink. I have two blue. Let's do a couple yellow. nine of the white ones you can see the lavender in the back there uh, I can't decide if I'm going to paint the color on or if maybe I'll just label make the label the color that's inside them that way the kids can be surprised and that the parents know what they're getting maybe something I, I haven't really decided I'm gonna let them dry uh, in their little molds turn them over maybe tomorrow let them dry another day maybe um, and then I'll package them and then we'll do a demo. Okay, I have the bath bomb. This is the 
Let's see if you can see it. This is the yellow. So I wanna, this is our test to see, oops. Let me move you a little bit. It's very cockeyed. I don't know what's going on with my tripod, but we're gonna test it here. Let's see how that goes. It's a high foaming recipe or a dramatic. I think the yellow is starting to come through. Yeah. And I think it's spinning. It's going so fast, it's hard to tell. But I think we have some spinning there. Um, the next time I make this, I may use a slower recipe. I thought I wanted the faster recipe that I have. Um, but I think the slower may actually let you see, see what's going on a little bit easier. But yeah, that's pretty fun. Okay, it looks like it's down to the little embeds here. So what'd you think? I was pretty happy with it. I thought the fizzing was pretty good and the yellow came out pretty quickly. So that made me happy. I thought the fizzing was a little too aggressive and I think I need to uh, use a different formula that has just a little bit more, more of a slower fizz. I still want it to be fairly aggressive because I want that wow factor, but um, I really wasn't able to see that spinning. So I think maybe slowing that down a little bit um, that may help. Anyway, I wanted to show you how I packaged them. I ended up not painting them. I'm not very good at painting on bath bombs and I just didn't have time to mess with it this weekend. So what I ended up doing was I created labels and ribbon that coordinated with the color inside. So I have my pink ribbon and label. I have my blue ribbon and label. And I have a yellow one. They're all cherry almond, um, but the different colors inside. And I was pretty proud of myself. Uh, hopefully, I <laughs> hopefully I didn't get these messed up. But I don't think I did. I think I kept them separate enough. And then I have that one that's kind of blue green with a little bit of purple in it. And I found some blue and green ribbon. I didn't have purple, but that's okay. And then I have this like multicolored uh, label for that one. So anyway, that's how I labeled them. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the time that you give me in watching my videos. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Help me get the word out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.